Hey, what's up my soldiers? It's Wobbly Honor. I just got finished filling up a five gallon jug of that uh, Alaska like clear fresh glacier water. You guys remember I just went there a couple weeks ago and uh, the spout is just right over there and people are filling them up. Today it's a lot more busy than it was last time and I filled up my five gallon jug and people were looking at me like I was crazy. I had to explain to them like, I know this is your first time here, try the water and then you'll understand. Yeah, but I just made a video about me going down to the Turnigan Arm Trail and that was a lot of fun. Um, I suggest you guys go hiking if you ever come to Alaska, get outside, don't do a bunch of stuff inside because this is not a place to be inside. I'm gonna show you guys this right here. Uh, been looking at stuff like this all day long. Just the mountains, the big crack in my screen right there. Just gonna do a little pan around. And this is kind of just what I'm dealing with right now. And I'm, I, I'm trying to uh, hold myself together but i have heard a lot about it and i'm in the area so i might as well go down and try it right but uh next time you guys see me i'll be about 10 miles down the seward highway at the tourniquet army I'm not really dressed appropriately. They're probably gonna think I'm a lunatic because I have on a biking shirt, biking pants, tennis shoes. This dog over here is staring at me for the past five minutes. But, uh, you know, we're gonna make the best out of it. And I'm gonna just go in there and get some food. Seriously though, this dog has been staring at me for like 10 minutes, like not blinking at all. Just, just, mm. I'm gonna at least just try to like zip up my armpit flaps. It's a barbecue joint, so I doubt it's really that fancy. I'm probably gonna get the stuff to go anyway, so I went not sitting down sweating up all the furniture. Can you not come in this way? I think I went to the wrong entrance. It's awkward. Do you have to go in on that side? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I went to the wrong side. Uh, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Are they renovating in here or something? I think I went on the wrong side. I'm gonna go through the other side. I asked the lady, I was like, is this the side I'm supposed to go on? She's like, yeah. So you're supposed to go on the other side. Oh, go ahead. I like y'all. Trying to get it to go? Yes, please. Alrighty, what can I get for you? Uh, I'll get the uh, pulled pork sandwich with baked beans and mac and cheese. And what kind of sauce would you want with that? Um, just regular sauce, I guess. Your total will be twelve fifty today. So they have an outdoor and an indoor area, and it's actually really nice out today. So most people are sitting outside. Um, and then you got, of course, the, like the beautiful view of the mountains and stuff over in the distance. So why not sit outside, right? So this is the outside area. Really nice here, actually. We want to see how the food tastes, because that's what's really important. I just saw some more people show up and they like tried to go through the same way I went through and they're like, are they closed? Are they shut down or what? And I'm like, no, you gotta come in through this side. So they really gotta put up a sign or something. Like, I wonder how many people come here like, and just look confused all the time. All right, so my food's here. I changed my mind. I'm gonna eat here instead of getting it to go. But I'm gonna take a look at it anyways. That's baked beans, mac and cheese. Got my bowl pork. cheese is interesting. I've never really had mac and cheese like this before. It's like really kind of like peppery. They like put a lot of pepper in it. Beans are really hearty. They actually put pork in the beans. Pork and black beans with the brown beans. Lots of flavor. It actually tastes really good. The beans are pretty good. Well, it's not a whole lot of pork on the pulled pork sandwich. As you can see, it's like more bread than anything. It doesn't really taste like much. Um, kind of tastes like high school, school lunch, pulled pork. Not really that great. The barbecue has a lot of flavor. I like the barbecue, but the actual pork itself, combined with the massive amount of bread, it kind of dulls down the taste. and It's not a whole lot like punching you. I paid $11.25 for this, so not bad. Um, not as expensive as other barbecue joints can be. I think a lot of people here, a lot of people come here just because of the location and because, you know, of the view and it's like kind of just nice to be here rather than the actual food. All right, so I'm done eating. If I have barbecue sauce like anywhere on my face, I'm sorry, it happens. 
dancing like crazy back there. But uh, I guess I should comment on my experience as a whole here. Uh, the service, I would give the service about a five out of 10. The food, I would probably give it about a six out of 10. Experience as a whole, I mean, the location is great. Honestly, it's a really great location. I think that's what's, what their success is hinging on, is that people are here. This is the only restaurant for a couple miles. It's beautiful, barbecue, they have a catchy name. So they're really hinging on their location more than anything else. However, their service is definitely lacking. Throughout my experience there, I heard a lot of I'm sorry's. Um, my very first experience here, I'm met with a door that leads nowhere, that's being renovated. How about you lock the door up? How about you put up a sign that says being renovated, use the other door. I mean, the door is right across. Like obviously people who come here often are gonna know that, but people who are just brand new, just coming here for the first time, if they're walking into a renovated area, that's not a very professional way to be introduced to your restaurant. And people aren't gonna be likely to come back. When I finally did find the door I was supposed to find, nobody greeted me. There was like no hostess or anything. I understand this is probably a family owned business, so it's not gonna be super professional, but have somebody there to seat people to find out, hey, are, do you wanna place an order? Do you wanna be sat down? Do you wanna place orders to go? None of that happened. So I just kinda of had to like flag somebody down, like, hey, I wanna order some food to go. All right, fine. So uh, she left, she came back about 10 minutes later, she took my order. Um, I walked outside and just sat down. She kind of just like walked away. I went outside, sat down, waited for my food to arrive. She comes outside, gives me my food, very polite lady. Everyone here is very nice, polite. Anytime anything went wrong, which happened a few times here, uh, they were very apologetic and they worked to fix the problem. Um, there was a family across, there were two families across from me. The first family, they received the wrong food. And so she went back, she brought the food, the, the correct meal out, and she placed it on their table. They said, okay, thanks. And she said, okay, I'm sorry about that. I'll void that meal from your check. And that's great. If a restaurant is willing to sacrifice some of their profit just to keep that customer, that's awesome. And I think that most businesses should do that. It's a great uh, tactic to keep your customers. Um, so they said, fine, great, awesome. Uh, she comes back with the check a few minutes later and it still had the check it still had their food on it she didn't void the check so she had to go back and then voided the whole check which i think also is great it's not really mis i mean it's, it's it's something that is to their credit that they voided the check because that's something that a lot of restaurants so just like i don't care whatever you had a bad experience not my problem um the same waiter was waiting another family so the lady comes out with the food she looks kind of confused like she's kind of just putting the food down like wherever like kind of asking people who ordered what and then she got around to the second meal, excuse me, and she said, uh, is this yours? And he said, no. And she said, is this yours? And everybody was like, no, this isn't our food. And she was like, oh, this must be the wrong table then. She kind of had to pick the food back up, which is kind of unprofessional that she would put it down in the wrong place in the first place. And she said, I'm sorry, uh, on the ticket it said it's for table seven and nobody's at table seven, so I'm not really sure what's going on right now. I want to take all the food back and make sure everything's straight. And another family across the, on the other side of the balcony, they're like, that's our food. And so she gives them the food. Um, and it was just a lot of stuff. When I went in and ordered my food, nobody greeted me. I, when I finally did get my food, I asked for silverware. There wasn't any silverware in the bag. Um, and she said, sorry, we're out of plastic silverware. Really? What type of restaurant runs out of plastic silverware? And the lady behind her, another waitress, she said, no, 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 we got some silverware. We got it in the shipment or whatever. And so she reaches up through some box and gets, gives me some silverware. I'm like, this is so unprofessional. So the food was probably about a six out of 10. Service was about a four or five out of 10. Convenience, two out of 10, because it's way the heck down here. However, the location, like I said, is probably the best part about this restaurant. So if you guys ever come to Alaska, you're in this area, uh, you could stop by if you really want to. I wouldn't, you won't miss much if you come here. I know this is a family business, so I'm not trying to tear them down. I know people watch my videos, so I don't want people to like, you know, give this, give these people a bad rap because this is probably a family business. They've probably been running for quite a long time. I'm not trying to really down them. Just saying, hey, put up some signs, give your waitresses some training, give your chefs some training. Anyways, I had a great time. <laughs> Anyways, I had a pretty good experience here. I mean, it was decent. I wouldn't say that this was the best place I've ever been to in my life. Definitely not. But, uh, you know, I drove past here. I wanted to come here. I came here, and I'm getting ready to go back home. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.